Howdy, it's Tubal Kane again, and this is uh, Machine Shop Tips number 309, and as promised, I'm going to do a video today on uh, the comparison between removing rust by electrolysis and by vinegar, and I've done several videos on that subject already, so be sure and go back and watch those. Just uh, do a search that says Tubal Kane electrolysis or vinegar, and those will show up. So in this video there are some things I'm not really going to explain because it's mainly a comparison between these two rust uh, removal methods. Now these are old wagon wrenches. You've seen those in another video. These are over a hundred years old. Matter of fact they could be as old as 150 years. I'm not sure. But they're pretty rusty. These of course remove the square nut off the axle there of a wagon. Wooden wagon wheels. So uh, I'm going to take the rust off. These have no value at all. These were 50 cents each and I bought them only because uh, they were rusty and I thought these would be great subjects for my what is it video as well as uh, the video I'm doing now. So uh, let's get started. You've seen me do this over and over. There's a five gallon bucket plastic. Don't use metal. And I'm going to uh, fill that with water and then with uh, Arm & Hammer uh, washing soda. And don't use baking soda. And I still got people that are saying, well, you can use baking soda. All you do, need to do is take the baking uh, soda and turn it into, well, why would you? Just go buy this for crying out loud. It's two bucks. And you need about a cup of it. It's very uncritical. And uh, in this bucket, I have uh, four... Well, it's just mo nothing more than uh, sheet metal because that's what I happen to have and that, there was paint on it So I had to grind the paint off and uh, you can get by with one of these But I'm using four and they are resting right resting not rusting. They are setting on the bottom uh, They can be suspended if you want and they are all uh, wired together in a daisy chain and on uh, this one I mean, these are anodes now and the positive terminal from your uh, battery charger needs to be on uh, that is the red one is going to go on the anode and the black one negative is going to go on the work which I'm going to hang down the middle and it'll be uh, something like well something like it's exactly like this and that'll hold it off the bottom just a little bit and I have ground the rust off the top so I will have a good connection. You really need a very good connection. And I'm going to fill that with uh, water and a cup of this and I'll do that all off camera. I may have misspoke. It's super washing soda, not baking soda that I have in the water. And I uh, had warm water simply because I was trying to get this washing soda to uh, to dissolve it was so clumpy I had to break it up with a sledgehammer so next time I'm gonna go down to Kroger and get a new new box of that but that's all stirred up and uh, here's the the wrench I'm going to immerse that positive is on the uh, anode and again they're hooked together in a daisy chain here this one is connected by a jumper and then we jumped and we jumped. Now make sure that uh, the work doesn't touch the uh, the anodes. Now I'm ready to plug it in. Well, I'm, you, you need to make your connections before you plug it in so you don't have any sparks in case there's hydrogen gas. Safety first, you know. And I'm going to plug it in. I really need a, uh, I got 10 battery, or 6 battery chargers, not 10. That's on 10 amp. That's way too high, but I expect that to drop down. And you know what, I'm going to change battery chargers. I don't need, I don't need 12 amps. That's, but, but look at the action already in just a matter of seconds. I'm going to take the time, go out in the garage, and, and get one of my smaller chargers chargers that is well I'm back and I'm three minutes older by the way thanks for watching my videos and I've got this little shoemaker Schumacher battery charger and even though I got a set of two amps 
When I put it on six, I get eight. When I put it on two, I get six. Well, doesn't matter. But you can see the action. Now this video is going to be taken uh, over a two-day period, so I'm going to show you uh, this several times today yet. But uh, then tomorrow we'll look at the work and the vine vinegar one too. And then again uh, two days from now. And that, that's all the longer that I'm going to uh, uh, spend on this because you notice that with the vinegar that it seems to consume the, the, the steel, the base metal, and I just want to remove the rust. You know, it would have been interesting too to weigh these with a very accurate laboratory type scale down to the tenth of a gram or down to the milligram and see how much the rust weighed. I suppose that's foolishness. Sometimes I think I try to make this too scientific. All right, that's enough for the electrolysis. Let's jump over and uh, do the vinegar. I needed a container just the right length, just the right size, but yet not too big, and that fits just perfectly. And I know where I found this. This was in my wife's closet, walk-in closet. She must have 50 pairs of shoes. Well, in here I found a pair of high heels. They were so old and out of style. They had toes that are so pointed you could have killed a cockroach in a corner. But anyway, she'll never miss them. I hid those in the garbage, and this is just the right and I don't have too much of this uh, white vinegar. I might have to go get some more at Kroger's. But I just want enough in there to cover it. And I've used... I halfway like the smell of that. Uh, in some of my other videos. So let's see how far up that will go. And I might have to tip this container a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't quite cover. Remember that a vinegar is a... Acetic acid, acetic acid, and it's four to six to eight percent or so in that white vinegar. And if I think if I tip this now, well, Han, can you go down to Kroger's and get me some more white vinegar? Okay. Did you hear her jump? It's only because she's going anyway. How much do you need? I'm in luck. Did you hear my wife's voice? She's at the top of the stairs. And she says, well, I got some. So she said, use this up first. I don't know what brand that is. Hope it doesn't explode when I mix brands. Need more yet. So what do we got here? I don't know what the brand is. You know, it's a commodity. It doesn't matter who made it. I don't care what they say in the ads. Remember, ads are all lies. Oh. You know, when you're an old man, you're sick of all of this nonsense. You just want to open something up. Sometimes you open this up and you get yet another seal. Really annoying. Just enough to cover it up. There we go. A little more. This is super cheap. All right. And then uh, looking here, look at the difference. And that's just been, what, five minutes or so. Okay. I'll see you in about an hour or two or whenever I think of it. I'll come down here and just give you a little update. I don't want to make the video too long. But that's still at uh, 6 amps. Now, if you use only one anode, you're not going to find the amperage to be that high. And if you... Uh, let me lower that a little bit. This is really interesting stuff, to me anyway. And from the number of hits I get on these videos, it's apparently interesting to a lot of people. But... All right, let's see what happens in a little while. 
Good morning, it's the second day and 24 hours has passed and looking at this, I don't understand this at all, that almost nothing has happened. I see a little bubbling here, but I, I don't see any rust floating to the top like I'm used to seeing and uh, what I'm going to do is take this out and take it to the sink and brush this a little bit with a stiff uh, fingernail brush and and uh, see if anything's coming off, but it sure doesn't look like it. I'm not getting this. Well, it's looking better than what I thought. I took a, a stiff brush and brushed that, and I think I see bare metal, but it's going to go back into the vinegar for another day, and I'm only going to do this two days, so it'll be... And uh, while I'm at it, I'm taking this piece of rusty... 7 8 diameter cold roll steel or it might be hot I can't tell but there's a little bit of rust on there I'm gonna put that in there overnight and see what happens now let's take a look at the electrolysis again this is 24 hours worth and you can see quite a bit of bubbling going on yet and the ammeter is still at Oh, it's about three and a half, or f a little less than four, and uh, I'm surprised there isn't more um, debris on the top floating, but I'm going to unplug and uh, take this out of here, and we'll have a look at it. I'm going to rinse it in the sink. I rinsed it and brushed it a little bit, and it's very, very black. So it's going back in for another 24 hours, but let's have a good look at one of the anodes, and I think I'll take, yeah, I think I'll take the main one off, because per perhaps there was the best electrical connection right here. Let me pull that out and lay it on some newspaper. And you know what, I'm going to reverse all four of these because you can see that most of the action is on the front side or the side that's closest to the, uh, the wrench. That's quite crusty. It would scrape off but it's not just coming off like it's scum. On the top it is. But it's quite crusty like barnacles. Again, I'll put that in reversed. And let's look at this one here that is the farthest, would have had the poorest connection. And not a whole lot going on there. All right, I'm going to reverse them all and uh, plug it in again. I plugged it back in and it's just a little bit over 4 amps now and a rather violent boiling action had immediately started. Remember I reversed all four of the anodes and rotated the wrench slightly within there and I think what I'm going to do in a 24 or in 12 hours and I won't, I'll do this off camera is just to pick the wrench out of there and rotate the wooden dowel uh, 180 degrees, in other words reverse it in there and possibly change the position of the of the anodes just a little bit to keep the action, action uh, rather violent here and then I'll see you in another 12 hours or another 24 hours rather it'll be a total of 48 hours and we'll see what the results are here and the comparison between the two and I would like to do this sometime also with molasses, but uh, it's just so stinky and thick and expensive and gooey and, and messy that I'm not really sure I want to mess with it. This is bad enough. Okay, on the morrow.